When it comes to doing any type of electric wiring, this stuff is indispensable. It's often called Romex, but it really is called non-metallic cable. The NM refers to not the wires inside, which of course are made of copper, but the jacket that it's sheathed in. But if you want to cause a lot of arguments with people, you've simply just got to take a piece of electric conduit like this and insert your Romex or your non-metallic cable into it and people will immediately tell you that this is totally illegal. But in this video, we're going to settle the argument of whether or not this is legal, barely legal, or it should just never be done for any reason. Well, the short answer is yes, you are absolutely allowed to run non-metallic cable inside of any type of conduit. But like many things in life, the answer is not quite that simple. You can run it inside of pipe anywhere you want except for what is considered to be a damp location. If your conduit runs outdoors anywhere, it will definitely be considered a damp location. That means you could never run Romex inside of something like an AC whip or any type of electric conduit that leaves your house. But damp locations inside your house can sometimes be a little tricky. You might think, for instance, your garage is considered a damp location, but that is not correct. Your garage is considered the same as the rest of your house. Now one positive about doing this is non-metallic cable by itself is tough, but it certainly can be punctured by a nail, a staple, or something else. When you put it inside of conduit, you're gaining a lot more protection. So why don't people do this more often? Non-metallic cable has this hefty jacket on the outside, and that's good. But the problems really start when you're inserting a huge piece of this into, say, something like a 10-foot section of conduit. You begin to pull it through, especially if there's a bend or a curve. This stuff will get hung up like nothing you've ever seen. You will find that it is absolutely miserable. But if you're going to be running a piece that's longer than two or three feet, the better recommendation is to use individual conductors. Those are often referred to as THHN, THWN. These are what professional electricians are going to run all the time on very long runs. You can pull wires like this over 100 feet using pulling tools and it won't cause you nearly the same type of troubles that you'll have using that non-metallic sheathed cable. But there's an even bigger problem that I didn't talk about, something called conduit fill. Now conduit fill just refers to the amount of wires that you can fit inside of a pipe. Now this doesn't sound like rocket science because you just keep sticking the wires in there until the pipe fills up, but that isn't how it works. The rules vary a bit depending on the type of wire you're using, but at maximum, you can only have 53% of the pipe filled. And unfortunately, that Romex is seen as a single conductor, even though there are three wires inside. So even a single piece of Romex inside this half-inch conduit will quickly exceed that 53% fill. And here's the bonus question you might be thinking of. Say you've got some non-metallic Romex cable lying around. Why don't you just cut it apart, pull those wires out, and now you've got your individual conductors. Now you might be thinking that is the perfect solution, but unfortunately you would be wrong. Those wires were designed to be inside of that sheathing. Without it, they don't have the correct protection that the manufacturer intended. That's not allowed in any situation or safe. So the bottom line is non-metallic cable can be run in any type of conduit in dry locations. Taking into consideration things like conduit fills and you're never allowed to use non-metallic cable inside of a conduit outdoors under any circumstances. So when it comes to doing longer runs or more complex ones, you'll definitely want to consider using individual conductors. And I hope you guys found this video interesting and hopefully it settles a myth or an argument that people have had for decades. But if you think I'm nuts or completely wrong or you've got a comment, be sure to leave it below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel on YouTube for more videos coming up.